G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Briskets are one of those types of meat that are very cheap to buy, but for a good reason, because they were actually one of the toughest parts. But with some preparation, some time, it can turn out to be the most beautiful piece of meat you'll ever have. There are many different ways to cook it. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do at home, so when you go to work, you can set it. When you come home, it's ready. So join me today as I show you how to make my version of brisket in a slow cooker. Okay, so we're going to start off with the main ingredient, and that's our beef briskets. So this has always been a very cheap piece of meat, but when cooked properly, it's one of the best tasting ones. Now there's usually always quite a bit of fat on the outside. Now you don't want to remove all the fat because that really does add to the flavor of a brisket. But these thicker bits like this, they're easily removed. So just make sure you're using a sharp knife and we're just going to slice away the thicker pieces. It's good to have a sharp knife that really just slices through like butter, like this one. And I'll explain more about these knives in a minute. But, see how thick that is? We don't need that. But here, yeah, that's fine. It's a little, it's a little, there's still some fat on there, but it's a lot thinner. And the same for this side as well. These are very thick pieces of fat. So we just want to make sure we, we remove all of that. So again, leave some fat on there, but just remove the thickest pieces. These knives just go straight through like butter. Now with any good brisket or meat recipe, we really do want a delicious rub. So into a bowl, we're going to combine all our herbs and spices. So first thing I'm going to do is add one tablespoon of brown sugar, then two teaspoons of paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon of mustard powder, a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. So it's just a simple matter of mixing our rub into our brisket. Now we want to use half on one side of course and we're going to just just really work that into every single crevice we can and we're going to use the half other half on the other side and just work it into the meat. Just so every bit is covered with our delicious rub. Okay, so we're just going to cover this up and we're going to leave it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours or you can do it up to 24 hours. Just gives a chance for all that delicious rub to work its way into our brisket. So I'm just going to leave it in this bowl, but I'm just going to cover it with some wrap. Okay, so I've had our brisket in the fridge for about 24 hours now, so it gives it a chance for that rub to work its way in. So now I'm going to use a slow cooker or crock pot. Basically the only difference is crock pot is a brand, but it's essentially a slow cooker. So what I'm going to do now is essentially make our own barbecue sauce. So into our slow cooker, I'm going to place in two cloves of minced up garlic, now that's probably closer to three or four to be honest, but I've always liked my garlic, as you know. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Then one and a half cups of ketchup, or as we like to call it in Australia, tomato sauce. Then half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. Now the reason why I say firmly packed is because there is some moisture in it. So if you just place some brown sugar into a cup, it's not going to be the right amount. You've actually got to pack it down to get that firmness, which gives you the exact amount. Unlike white sugar, which is very dry. So when you put in half a cup, you're actually getting half a cup. Next, two teaspoons of onion powder, followed by two teaspoons of mustard powder, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of black pepper, 
And finally, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce. Tomato, tomato, depends how you want to say it. And just get in there and give it a very good mix until everything is well combined. And there we have our homemade barbecue sauce. Now, of course, you can go out and just buy barbecue sauce, but trust me, it's not going to be as good as this one. Okay, so with our brisket, we're just simply going to place it into our slow cooker. Now, if it's a bit bigger, just don't be afraid to push it down a bit. Now, you don't have to cover with a sauce. That's all perfectly fine, as long as it's sitting in the sauce. And we're just simply going to place on our lid. Now, just as an added tip, if yours is a pressure cooker or slow cooker in one, just like mine, we want to keep it on the vent because we only want to use sealer for your pressure cooking. Okay, now for the easiest part, we can do this two ways. We can cook it on high or low. Now, both will work just as well, but if you cook it on the low setting for eight hours instead of the high setting for four hours, it will come out better because when it comes to a brisket, the longer you cook it, the better it is. So I'm going to choose the low cook setting and I'm going to adjust the time to eight hours. So what we have to do now is push start and set it and forget it. That's that simple. So this is going to be fantastic. All you have to do is push start and go to work, come home and you have a delicious brisket waiting for you for when you get home. And trust me, as soon as you open the door, you're going to smell it. But also as an added tip, if you had the time, I'd even bump it up to 12 hours on slow because it will come out just that little much more better. But also if you're not going to be home in eight hours, say you're going to be home in say 10 hours, set it for 10 hours. It is very versatile, especially when on slow. So the longer you cook the brisket, the better. Now while our brisket is cooking away, I just want to take a second to show you some wonderful knives that have been sent to me that I've been asked to review over the last few months just to use my daily cooking and on my cooking shows. And for complete transparency, I'm not being paid one single cent to talk about these knives. They've sent them to me for free, so I'm being completely honest about that. But I did it on the condition that I could be completely honest about how I thought in regards to using these knives. I mean, honestly, what kind of knives actually come with a certificate of authenticity personally signed? So they're made from high quality honcho steel, which is incredibly good. They feel so good in the hands. The weight alone, it's, it's just like a perfect balance. That's why I love using these knives. Again, not being paid to say this, this is my honest opinion. So they've got many knives for many occasions. I placed it back in, but this is the knife alone that I used just to cut the fat off and it really did cut through like it was butter. These knives really are top quality. So I'm always 100% upfront when I review products. So if a product isn't up to my standard, honestly, I say so in the video and I give the company the opportunity of not letting me put the video up at all. So I have no problem whatsoever recommending these knives. So I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the store where you can actually buy these knives. And by using the code TODD50, you'll get a $50 discount on any knife collection plus free shipping. Okay, so it's been eight hours, and I can tell you what, this whole house smells delicious. That's one big fantastic side effect of having a slow cooker. So, the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. That's steam rising up. And just look at that brisket. It looks and smells delicious. Now you can of course use a digital thermometer just to make sure the temperature is right but after eight hours I guarantee it's perfect. Yep it's already way above the temperature it should be which is fantastic. Okay so just going to transfer our brisket just to a waiting plate. Now with the barbecue sauce that we made earlier 
it's still a bit runny so we're going to actually thicken that up so there are a couple of ways to do it firstly you can put it into a saucepan and just let it boil away for a few minutes just until it thickens up and you'll get a nice thick barbecue sauce consistency and the other way to do it is if you have a sear function on your pressure or slow cooker we're going to choose the high setting and I'll just up the time say about five minutes for the to start off with and just start it now it's important make sure you keep on stirring it this way it just keeps everything combined and most importantly you don't burn the base and just keep on doing this until you get to a nice thick sauce consistency and that'll be perfect to pour over or as a side for your lovely brisket okay so while our sauce is searing away I'm just going to slice into our brisket of course using my Kamakoto knife oh look at that it's like butter so that's what I mean about these knives they're fantastic but enough about these knives let's talk about this brisket and just look how juicy and delicious that is it has turned out perfectly it really doesn't get any better than this so by placing it into a slow cooker for a minimum of eight hours feel free to go up to 12 you're going to get this lovely beautiful melt in your mouth texture okay so I've thickened up our sauce so it's just a matter of pouring it on top just like you would some gravy and just even have some on the side and that is a perfect combination it really does fit in so well with this recipe so it's not only being cooked in the sauce you're also using the sauce as a side so it's like a flavor on flavor and trust me it is fantastic so the brisket is cooked perfectly through the sauce is absolutely delicious you can choose any side that you want with it and being a cheap piece of meat that is easy to prepare before you go to work and being ready for when you get home so it's so super simple and easy and no matter what side you choose to serve it with either way this brisket is going to taste simply delish mm -hmm.